how you guys doing? It's been a while. So yeah, man. Um, on this tutorial here, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you guys just a little trick. It's not really a trick, but it's something simple that you know I did in one of my tracks, and most people seem to have found it very interesting, and and they like that, and they wanted to know. And I had a guy, I forgot his name, on the Facebook page who actually requested that I do a tutorial on it on how did I go about doing that particular sound and how I made it the way it is. Yeah, so that sound I'm talking about is the one on my remix. I did a remix for the lab out featuring Porsche Monique. Do better. I did a remix. It's a bootleg, but yeah. So if you want to listen to it, go to www.soundcloud.com forward slash thu and the number two. Yeah, so yeah, okay, cool. Otherwise, you can just go to the YouTube page. There should be a SoundCloud link somewhere around there. As well as the Twitter and the Facebook page, so cool. So I'm just gonna fast forward and skip that, skip around the track for you until I find that specific sound. So I think it's somewhere around two minutes. So I just I leave it here and let it play out, and then you're gonna hear when it comes in. It comes in at around two minutes thirty eight seconds, somewhere around there. So you just watch out for it. Sound, So yeah, um, so that's the remix, that's what it sounds like, and the sound that I was talking about was those kalimba type of like sounds that came in around 2 minutes, 2 or 5 or so. So yeah, so I'm going to explain to you guys how I did those sounds, and it's not really that complex actually, it's quite simple, and it goes back to what I've been telling you guys, what, I'm, what I've been encouraging you guys to do, and that's to use the C chord type of thing, but just to add a little trick to it, so I'm going to open up hypersonic for you guys, and then yeah. I'll show you what I did. So basically what I did is I came up with a pattern sequence so I came up with like a melody type of thing of my own so I'll do it here on my MIDI controller so okay so I wanna choose a piano of some sort so I usually I like using these pianos here especially this one here or oh, somewhere around this yeah this is the one so what I did is I came up with the sequence, I came up with the piano sequence or melody, whatever you want to call it. And then I just worked around that. So let me show you how I did it. So I just want to keep track of the time. So I'll try to come up with a very nice and short one for you guys. Using once again what I what I like to use and that's the C chord, which is C E G. There it is. So I'll just try to come up with the sequence for you guys. So So that's, okay, that's that's actually cool. That's a very simple melody that I can use. Okay, so okay, let's okay, let's see. Okay, so that could work. It's, it's, it's. Okay, okay, I'll keep on forgetting how I did it, but anyway. Let's 
so Okay, you see, so that's also another interesting pattern. It's okay. So let's do let's exhale these ones as we're supposed to in this case. Something out of this as So it that seems like that. Then I did this and then yeah, so we'll just keep then I extend these like that. Then I do this one here. So basically until when this one finishes, this one starts type of thing. So that's all I'm basically doing now. So you just highlight like that, choose that pen tool or whichever one, click there at the end to so see those arrows, then you click and drag to the end. Then do that for these ones as well. Like this. Sorry. Then you come here. Do the same thing again. And then you have this now. See how we just add that to that part there. See, and then I could work around that and make it interesting and all that jazz there. But that's not the point. So the point being is, then how did I make this become, you know, that that type of sounds there, the kalimba sound? So obviously, all I did was just I came here. Then I chose the mallets. I went here to mallets and I came here and I chose. I'm not too sure which one I chose exactly. But I think it was marimba combined with I think this as well. So let's see. Okay, fine. So let's just take this down a bit, and then let's add what else. Let's add something else. Let's try add this and see what happens. Okay, so fine. So let's take it like that. So that's what I did, and then after this, once you've done that, you just highlight the whole thing. Excuse me, like that come there to this little area there, click on it, go to tools, and then you want to use a PG8, this tool here, and then you just say a PG8, and that's what happens, it's magic, voila, so then you when you play it, so let's try this, okay, so let me just cancel everything, so I'm going to play for you, and then I'm going to do the PG8 tool, now listen to how, what happens, a PG8 now, And then you could use a time you now there to make it interesting. You know. Then you could do that. And then to even add more spice to it, you could click on it like that. Come to one of these mixer channels. Say link to this track here. Then come here and select Fruity Delay Bank. This one, maybe put it down somewhere around there. I think it's supposed to be on two. Take that down there, and then just you see. Then you have your sound there. Add some reverb to it. Keys to it, you know, you could add your own keys and just oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I actually didn't link the sounds together like this, so it's supposed to there. It is. And 
and yeah man so that's basically what i did the like subscribe comment facebook twitter follow everything yeah man so yeah don't forget to link the sounds how you link the sounds just click on this area here like that and click on that one there so that basically these sounds here are linked with that one so they sound all together if you don't link them you're just gonna hear one sound which is a, this one here the marimba one like that and then if you link it with this one and then if you add the smooth drums as well see funny enough i think i think i actually got like the new the new thing recording software allows me to record even longer because the 10 minutes is supposed to cut off so i think maybe i got like an extra five minutes now i don't know but yeah and then maybe you know since uh, seeing as i have extra time i'll do something for you guys maybe you might then go back here and and add your keys again you know so it's going to be like some time in the of this i forgot how it goes try and do that for you guys with the keys now I don't know if I'm still gonna get it correct but anyway hopefully I will uh, okay I think all of these moved apart so let me try that okay it's gonna take too long but anyway yeah so you can add the keys and just So you see how, how cool it sounds with the keys and everything there. But yeah, that's how I did that. Like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, follow, SoundCloud, follow as well. I'll follow back all those things there, man. Yeah, it's been fun. Shop, shop, off it.